What is going on people it is your boy Mac Daddy Mac and welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle We are against Binky Coon who's bringing a really really cool team Wow, his team is amazing um, Dracovish is a very scary sight to see Though I don't know who he's gonna start with I don't think he really has a dedicated lead I'm gonna start jealous then because a lot of the times people st tend to start with the Landorus I mean, if Landorus does set up the Stealth Rock, I don't necessarily want to go um, into Espeon to lead and then him Earthquake my Espeon and then down goes the Espeon. So I prefer to start off with the Jellicent, mostly because I can burn Landorus, I can burn the Dracovish, and um, I, I do get checked by the Zapdos, unfortunately. Um, I have two ground types, so, so there is that at the very least. So, I don't know, his team is very well balanced. Since we're doing a fourth Wi-Fi battle with this team, I want to see if we can do four in a row. That's all I really want. Nigilio does come out. So I'm cool with that. I'm actually pretty comfortable. Because what I, I I'm obviously, um, I, I obviously have the type advantage against it. So Nigilio is going to go down. It should go down. Ni e Lego. Ni Lego. Someone taught me how to pronounce that the other day. Um on, on the comment section and I completely forgot how to. I have to go back and visit it. So Dracovich comes in. What is this? Tell me you're are you water absorbed instead of strong strong jaw? You're not. Okay. I'm cool with it. Burn it, please. This deserves to, a crit? Can we get a crit burn? It's a crit burn! That is dope. <laughs> Wow, I was not expecting that. So I'm obviously just gonna strength zap here and now this Dracovish is Done. It's not worth anything anymore All right, what are you gonna do? Crunch, what is that gonna do to me? Absolutely nothing. Well, it does half It does have so I'm gonna strength zap here and this Dracovish continues to be useless now Useless Dracovish useless useless Part of me does want to go for one more Kind of. Kind of. Um, what I really want to do, though... No, I, I don't want him to catch me on a switch. I'm just going to recover. I'm going to get Scald here. Because if he, if he comes into anything else, and it takes a Scald, it has the potential to get burned, like Landorus. Porygon 2 comes out, actually. This thing does have Tri-Attack. It has Thunderbolt, I believe. It should have Thunderbolt, because Porygon Z has Thunderbolt. So, um... Thunderbolt is a possibility. Obviously, we do not want to stay in against this Porygon. So, what I'm going to do... I kind of want to go into Mian Xiao and just knock off. We're going to go into Mian Xiao. Knock off U-Turn, I think, is the better play for us. What are you going to hit us with? Discharge. I knew you were going to go for something like that. I absolutely had a feeling. Don't paralyze. It's only fair because I got the burn, so... Unfortunately, we won't be able to knock off this Porygon as much as I wanted to. Part of me was going to switch into one of my ground types, um, so we actually do get to knock it off, so that's good. That's very, very good. Side beam. Interesting. Very interesting um, Porygon set that you got there. Okay. What do I go to next? I kind of want to Excadrill and Iron Head. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna iron head things out here. I mean, even if he goes Landorus, that's perfectly fine. But I got a feeling um, Iron Head is gonna be the best attacking move that we have right now. Come on. Come on. I really don't want an Earthquake because he has the Zapdos and the Lando. So that's why Iron Head is our go-to attack right now. And even at that, Porygon 2 has some pretty bulky stats even without the AV Light. That's what makes it such a great wall. So if he stays in, chances are that he can take attack and attack and do some damage to my Exodra, which is what I don't want. Alright, so Kim Thalander is just like predicted. Um, is he getting U-turn or Earthquake? Boom. Doesn't do anything, obviously, because of the, um, of that attack. Maybe he sets up Stealth Rocks. Is Espeon worth keeping? It kind of is. 
It kind of is, but I'm willing to bet he's packing the, the stealth rock and I'm just gonna SP on here. If I get this right, this is a big boy plays right here. Come on, come on. You know you want to set up that stealth rock, my boy. He's gonna go earthquake though. Earthquake, I knew it, I knew it. And that's kind of why I didn't want to start off Espeon to begin with because of that. So I'm honestly just going to side shock. Wait a minute, is Landorus's defense better than special defense? Um, Lando. Lando, Lando, Lando. So Landorus does, it has a weaker special defense. Um, but side shock is stabbed. So I'm just going to side shock here. If he wants to get rid of me, he can. Thank goodness though, this Landorus is now weakened. Oh, he got the citrus berry. So, now what? Now what? You're gonna earthquake? I'm cool with it. Now, I'm gonna go back into Jellicent here. Even if my Pokemon got knocked out. And the reason behind that is because even if he wants to set up the self rock, I got Excadrill to Rapid Spin later. It is a little bit unfortunate that I have to take a turn to Rapid Spin if he does set up the rocks. But at the very least, um, a Scott should be able to take the, take this Landorus down. At least, I believe. I believe. I can only dream, right? Man, my opponent has a pretty solid team. And we've been playing pretty good all around. Uh, I would hate to take an L right now, at least. Top of Weenie comes out. Misty Surge. Hmm. Is Miss, does Misty Surge pre, um, prevent... No, that's Psychic Surge. So this actually prevents the Addis attacks, I believe. I don't remember what the Surge... Um, what the Misty Terrain does. I do not remember, and it's bugging me a little bit. Obviously, Jellicent has nothing for this, though... Um, I think we stay in. Top of Winnie checks my entire team. I'm gonna Willow it just to offset that, um, that leftovers. Calm mind. Oh, he's, he's just chilling. He's just chilling. Um, I got a feeling we can still come back. It's just a matter of... Uh, yeah, that's what it was. That's what it was. I was right about that. I just wanted to test the waters. I am afraid to call mine because... Um, I think it checked my whole team. I think it checked my whole team. And my question is, is this Tapu Fini fast? Is, is this Tapu Fini trains to outspeed things? What's your base speed anyways? Tapu Fini's base speed is, I believe, it's 85. I was going to say 90. I'm just trying to weigh down this terrain. Because once I come into Garchomp or anybody else, in all reality, I should be able to... It's just, I really don't want this thing. To, it's going to be defensive. You know what? I just lost. It's not a sweeper. It's it's gonna it's built to be a wall sweeper. I just threw this away for us, unfortunately. Top Fini. You're, you're I love that Pokemon to be honest. It was really good in the TCG. Oh my god, I'm just letting this thing set up in us. But the reason being that I'm letting it set up on us is because I'm gonna let Top Fini go down. And I'm gonna rely on my three attackers. Um, to try to bring this back for us even though the chances are minimal Even though the chances are minimal and what I'm gonna do here shortly is What am I gonna do? Feeny Moonblast, I'm obviously gonna go down here. Oh What at least the cursed body worked? Okay, Will-O-Wisp. I really the reason being again is because I really want to get rid of the leftovers recovery Kind of neutralize that a little bit. And now what? Uh, hopefully he thinks I'm a... Uh... Oh, okay, now he doesn't because my, my first body went off. So no way the... Uh... I'm going to recover. I'm obviously going to go down to the water type attack here. If he's packing it. Oh, he's not packing it. Interesting. He's Dynamaxing. And that's a sweep. We went down to a top of Fini, unfortunately. And we got 5 0 after getting three consecutive wins with this team. That kind of hurts. 
Maybe it's 6-0, actually. No, I cannot afford to get 6-0. Max Darth Ball. Oh, what? That's a smart way to get rid of the... Uh... I lost anyways, though. He's a water... Uh, Top of Fiend is a water type. It's a fairy type. And, um... Basically, all my Pokemon are going to go down to it. One way or another. One way or another. This is unfortunate. I really don't think I can win this. I'm not winning this. I already know that. Now, if I recall, Fiery uh, Max Darkness does special defense, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna hurricane here. I should outspeed, maybe confuse it, and we miss anyways. Yeah, so this is just Pokemon saying, you know what? You've been doing so good lately. You're just not gonna win. You're not gonna win. Oh, that's this is ugly. Man, this is what I get for never playing Generation 7. I did not know what Top of Fiend did, and it kind of bit me in the butt. I'm gonna leave it to Exedrill to come in and uh, Iron Head. That's my best bet, unfortunately. Iron Head. Wow, we got 6 0 pretty hard. Obviously, this thing can't flinch. Max Geyser. It's done. It's done. So Garchomp is bringing this one back for us. We got rid of the Feeny with the Max Quake. And we just got rid of the Dracovish. I really don't think we're still going to win, though. I highly doubt it. Um, so he has four more Pokemon in play. <laughs> I really don't think we're going to win this. As much as I want to believe that we're going to win this, I really don't think we are. It's just not possible. It's just not possible. Nigalio comes out. And honestly, we can just max quake. We're just gonna max quake. I'm so upset. And I did cut a lot of it out because I, I was it was just me complaining. And I really do not want to complain about Pokemon. Especially if I played like garbage. Especially if I played like garbage. Um I really have nothing. It's a crit! It's a crit, so there is that. There is that, um... I don't know what to say. Three more Pokemon. Maybe we can bring it back, though. The chances are minimal. Very minimal chances. Landorus is his best bet, maybe. Zapdos comes out? What is Zapdos wanting to do to me? That's my question. What is Zapdos wanting to do to me? Should I Sword Dance in, this fa in its face? I think I am. I'm gonna Sword Dance. I'm not sure what Zapdos wants to do to us. I'm so confused as to why he went Zapdos. The reason I Storm Stance is because if Landorus comes in, obviously it's going to drop our attack down minus one. Hurricane. Oh, this is going to hit. This is a guaranteed hit. So it doesn't do so much, but he's relying on chance for us to get confused, which doesn't happen, thank goodness. I mean, come on, Garchomp. You've done it before. You've done it before. Can you do the impossible for us? Come on, hit. Yes! Okay, Zapdos goes down. Can we do this again? Can we really do this again? I Do we even outspeed Landorus? I think we, I think we do. Landorus didn't show that it was Scarfed. Because if I recall it, you turned right away. I think at least. Dragon Claw. This is why I Sword Dance in front of that Zapdos. Come on, Dragon Claw, knock it out. Oh, that is ugly. Rocky Helmet. Earthquake, that's it. Garchomp, you tried. You very, very, very well tried. Um, I could have Sword Dance again against that Zapdos, and that would have brought it back, but I, I really didn't want to, you know, chance it again. I really didn't want to, though I should have done that. Ah, oh, that was so close. Very close. I'm taking that Lee card. Oh, man. I had to skip a lot of it because I, I was just getting frustrated and 
I just didn't believe that I would be able to come back though. I almost did the impossible um, If I would have just swords dance again, just l try to have the Zapdos miss a hurricane I would have gotten a clean sweep with Garchomp um, But it is what it is we we won three in a row with this team Technically we won four battles in a row from the last team and then carried on to this one um, I could have made it five in a row and I would have loved to made it five in a row because I haven't gotten five wins in a row in a long time But it's Pokemon for you. Ah, that's gonna be it for this Wi-Fi battle Make sure that you guys leave a like if you enjoyed comment down below on your vote for MVP I think in my opinion it was Garchomp. Garchomp almost brought it back to us again You remember on the last Wi-Fi battle that was that was just simply amazing, but um, yeah again leave a like it's your boy daddy Mac signing off I'll see you guys